Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today's video, I'll be showing y'all how to achieve these nice curls with these hair spell clip ins. Using the braids out method because I have too much hair to do regular clip ins, but my hair is definitely 1B. I mean, my hair is dyed jet black, so these don't blend in terms of color, but everything else is definitely slaying the entire house down, so that's that but if you want to learn how i got these clippings to eat the house down with my thick 4b hair then you will continue watching because why not this one hello hey kids so this is a voiceover this is me unboxing well i'm bagging the clippings they came in a pack of three and they were very hefty to be honest so me personally i couldn't do the normal clipping method because i didn't get kinky clippings i got regular straight brazilian clippings and i have too much hair so it just it wouldn't have blended so i parted off my the top half of my think about you doing a clip weave how you would part for a clip weave you keep out where you want to part and keep out your edges so that it will look natural. So that's what I'm doing here and the back will be braided. And since for a quick weave you use glue, you would have to make the parts straight and even. But since I'm just clipping and clipping, I didn't really care to make the parts too, too straight. But I still wanted them to be clean parts. So you don't really have to think too much about the parts because they're not that serious. But what I will say, and the same goes to quick weaves, minimal is more. But just keep enough hair to cover the tracks. You don't have to keep your whole head out, okay? This whole part of the video, though, this is pointless. You don't have to do this because it's going to get braided. So the back of your hair, it doesn't really matter. I braided my hair into three chunky braids just because my hair was straight and more thin it didn't have to be separated so much but I braided my hair in three chunky braids I don't know why every time I'm in my natural hair I want to cut it but um, then I pinned them up just so that they're not through the clippings and I'm gonna turn around so you can see the form of the braids but the form of the braids literally does not matter because it's not a wig it's clippings so just just do something to get your hair out of the way. Y'all, when I took the clippings out the package, because this is the first time I ever saw them, I was like, Lord, Lord, all of this hair only in one clip, like, if you didn't want it to be so, 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 so full, you could literally get away with these clippings with only two packs. You literally do not need three. But I ended up straightening mine just because my hair was straight, and I didn't really know how to blend my hair with it when it was wavy like this. So I would just straighten it to get away, as you can see. So I started counting the clips and there's eight clips in each pack. So 24 clips altogether, which is a lot of clips.
I started off by taking a four clip clip in. I went to the back. One thing that I will say is, since these are braids, you're gonna wanna start all the way like at your neck, at your kitchen. You don't wanna start on the braids. You wanna start at your kitchen. Because if not, when you pull your hair up, you'll be able to see the braids. Or if you move your hair the wrong way, you'll be able to see the braids. It would just look ghetto. So start at your kitchen because I actually had to lift up this track to get lower. So just do that from the beginning, okay? After that, though, everything is quite self-explanatory. Just keep your clips close together. And that's about it. This is what I was talking about though with me having to lift all the hair up to put another clip in because I didn't start at, the, at my fucking neck. It needs to be on your kitchen, gripping on your naps. If it's not gripping on your naps, then you need to put it lower. Clippings are literally self-explanatory, but all of my bundles were 22, 22, 22. So they were all going to like the same length. It was just weird. And my hair is also shorter than the clippings hair. So uh, another important factor of clippings is definitely the trim after you put them in. Because the only way they're gonna blend with your hair if you have short hair is if you make them into some kind of layer. So that it goes, it just the clippings blend with your hair more easily if you make them a layer. So that's what you see me doing here. Did I have to layer mine that much though, or cut that much? No, I just tend to get through the happy. This is my third pack of the tracks, and I didn't even end up using much. I just wanted to fill in the front of my hair because if you can't see the front of my hair, it's very short. It gives bangs and it was nasty. So I just wanted to fill that little part in right there, but. You really only need two packs of these. On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find. The good news is, nigga, you came a long way. Bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way. Being broke is better. Life that's better than yours. No such thing as life that's better than yours. Think being broke is better. Life that's better than yours. No such thing, no such thing. But what's money without happiness? A hard times without the people you love. I'm not sure what's about to happen next. I asked for straight from the Lord of the book, cause I've been strong so far, but I can feel my grip loosening. Quick, do something before you lose it for good. Get it back and use it for good. And touch the people how you did like before. I'm tired of them with demons cause they always inviting more. Think being broke was better. And I don't mean that phrase with no disrespect. To all my niggas out there living in debt. Cash and minimal checks. Turn on the TV, see a nigga Rolex. And fantasize about a life with no stress. I mean it's just sincerely. And as a nigga who was once in your shoes, living with nothing to lose. This is so random, but pro tip, always curl the front piece of your hair inwards and the rest outwards, and it just makes it look like a bang kind of curl, if you get what I'm saying. A lot of people ask me, what's my curl method, what flat iron, what flat iron, what curl I use? Uh, I feel like it doesn't matter. I feel like this one step, this one trick is what's going to get your curls like mine. Curl everything out and curl the front in. 
and when you brush the front out when you brush the front out brush it the same way that you brush everything else out you can see if you're a visual learner maybe i'm not explaining it right but just make sure that you curl the front and words everything else out After you get the clippings in, I feel like there's no real method that I could give you besides to trim. Some people will use got to be, some people will use a wax stick, some people will use free spray. However you get however you can get your hair to blend, it's how you're gonna get your hair to blend. My method might not work for you, but my method works for you, so this is what I'm showing y'all. I didn't use no wax stick or anything. I feel like the layering is what's really going to help me. So you see me layering and curling and layering and curling. And going back and forth between the two because I feel like that's what's going to get you ready to be. But this is what I came up with. Yeah. 